I recently put this Bill Beefy skid plate on this bike and I love it because it does a fantastic job of protecting the pipe. The problem I have with it is it is loud as fuck. I'm gonna take a stab at putting some foam. I'm gonna put some, some sand damping. I might just go across the bottom covering this whole area and see if we can't get rid of some of that noise and just dip, deaden the whole thing down a little bit. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that and we'll see what happens. First things first, I gotta get this plate off. Lord, I'm now deaf. I don't know if you are too. You can see what I'm talking about. This plate is so loud. Filled with cooked dirt. We're making bricks in here. Oh my God. Look at this. It gets cooked by the pipe. It's literally making bricks. This bolt is bent. If you're trying to figure out how to mount your skid plate, 25 millimeter, interesting. Moose Racing sells these brackets. These are the best things we've found. I need to bend this, because you can see like right here, it's rubbing on the engine. Yeah, curve that away a little bit. Yeah, beautiful. I clean this thing. And this stuff is adhesive, and it's like easy to cut. I'll make it double thick. And then you do the same to this, because this is actually the mounting surface. So I'm gonna mount this on here. Neoprene foam, it's actually super easy to work with. Use a way oversized drill bit. And you can countersink the hole a little bit so that the uh, sloped screw will fit sink nicely and not drag on rocks and stuff. Make sure you don't drill all the way through like that though. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Those won't drag very much. Cool, so we'll see if that does anything. I don't know what to expect. I'm not sure if I made anything better. Um, if nothing else, it'll help to prevent the bolts rattling out. Yeah, skid plate fun. Part of the hard and dural life. Try to protect the one I've got. Check out our line of chin mounts for helmets of all sorts. We've got like 100-ish helmets. Link in the description. Got a bunch of other builds on this bike, so in a podcast and a bunch of other stuff you don't want to miss. So check us out, like, subscribe, and all that nonsense. And we'll see you next time. Thanks.